Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. You know what it means? Violence. Blood. Voodoo Black Exorcist is a sort of Spanish black exploitation film with no exorcism whatsoever. I can't believe you're serious. Really, this is Blackula with a mummy, as voodoo priest Guatinebo is caught messing around with another man's woman. <laughs> She is beheaded. He is injected with curare and buried alive in this fabulous sarcophagus. A couple of things to mention up front. Firstly, the English language version we watched has been clumsily edited and cropped, so some of our criticisms may have been lost in translation or on the cutting room floor. I don't think it will bother us. Secondly, and perhaps a case in point, this prologue takes place on the island of Haiti a thousand years ago, long before Africans came there. You know nothing. Archaeologist Dr. Kessling is heading home on a cruise ship. Ah, accompanied by a mummy. Also accompanied by the beautiful Sylvia. As a secretary or as a lover? A little bit of both. Oh. That's not enough for me. Really? Sounds like a full-time job. Also on board is a Caribbean dancer, keeping the passengers entertained. And the movements of that dancer are the exact copy of ancient ancestral dances. But her traditional dance has unexpected consequences. We have no eyes, but we see. Nor ears, but we hear your voice. I say unexpected, but someone was clearly planning ahead. Observe that it can be opened from the inside as well as from the outside. Resurrected and then rejuvenated. Guatinebo attacks the first person he sees. Some people wake up grumpy, but his mind is soon elsewhere as he sees Sylvia and recognizes her. Although, it should be noted, she has changed in the last thousand years. Is this a rare film in which blacking up is necessary to the plot? Probably not, because she's not the only one. Anyway, Guatinebo has no time to go after her. Although this is a mummy film, it also has elements of werewolf lore, albeit in reverse. I also depend on the sun and various cosmic factors. So he is human by day and the various cosmic factors cover any rogue nocturnal scenes. That someone will have their vengeance. By an extraordinary coincidence, Sylvia isn't the only reincarnation on board. There's also the man who beheaded Guatinebo's beloved. You can see the future. I wouldn't want to bet against you. And her husband, another one who's changed race. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering how he speaks English... You speak English well. Three centuries in museums. I have learned many, many things. I buy that completely. If the implication is he's been partially conscious, then learning another language seems like the least you would do to pass the time. In infinite time, what must happen, happens. As a token of his love for Sylvia, Guatinebo brings her a gift. Your killer is dead. I bring proof of my vengeance. And? <coughs> Ungrateful. The police now get involved. When I don't have a lead, I drink gin. And wait. I don't think they've sent their best man. I've established that someone on board did it. On a boat in the middle of the ocean, you've narrowed it down to someone on board. Well done, Holmes. Now you're talking strange. Guatinebo now kills again. Uh, where is Dr. Kessling? This way. The dancer, he just slaps around a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not altogether sure why, and this scene does feel very rushed, largely because of the cameraman in the mirror. Here's my problem with this film. What, what do you want? Nothing and all. It's just that vague. You'd think he wants his lost love, but... You have a way of courting a woman. That's not my intention. Plus... She's right there. She's not happy with Kessling. They get on, but he never makes his move. Where is he? I'm here next to you. Oh, why am I so awkward around girls? Ah, uh, someone's thoughts call to me. Sure, turning back into a mummy by night can ruin a date. No. No. Go away. And he is busy killing people, but again, I'm not completely sure why. What a body. <laughs> not everyone on the ship can be a reincarnation of people he used to know. The motive. That is the question. Whatever the case, instead of just having a chat to Sylvia while he's human, he has her kidnapped and brought to him. <laughs> So the police move in. And let's hope that no one else gets hurt. No more victims. Very laudable. And how will you be arming your men? <laughs> how pointlessly tragic. And ironic, because earlier he had a fight with a fire hose. Thanks for watching. To subscribe to our channel, click here. Burning the heroine alive seems like the most ridiculously artificial way of creating a tragic ending, but do you know worse? Let us know in the comments below. What's wrong? A terrible monster was right, right here.